Good morning, viewers. It's a new day. Welcome to today's devotion with the Daily Fountain, the devotional guide of the Church of Nigeria Anglican Communion. Invite your family and friends. Get your Bible and your Daily Fountain manual while our devotional leader takes us on today's devotion. Good morning, brothers and sisters. We thank God for giving us another day. It is my prayer that as we worship together this morning, the Lord will bless us in Jesus' name. Today is Thursday, February 21, 2019. The topic of our discussion is an evil plot against the righteous. An evil plot against the righteous. A text is taken from Daniel chapter 6, verses 1 to 12. Daniel chapter 6, verses 1 to 12. Dairos the maiden decided to divide the kingdom into 120 provinces, and he appointed a high officials to rule over each province. The king also chose Daniel and two others as administrators to supervise the high officers and protect the, king, the king's interests. Daniel soon proved himself more capable than all the other administrators and high officers. Because of Daniel's great ability, the king made plans to place him over the entire empire. Then the other administrators and high officers began searching for some fault in the way Daniel was handling government affairs, but they couldn't find anything to criticize or condemn. He was faithful, always responsible, and completely trustworthy. So he concluded, our only chance of finding ground for accusing Daniel will be in connection with the rules of his religion. So the administrators and high officials went to the king and said, Long live King Dairos. We are all in agreement with administrators, officials, high officers, advisors, and governors that the king should make a law that will be strictly enforced. Give order that for the next 30 days, any person who pray to anyone, divine or human, except to you, your majesty, will be thrown into the den of lions. And now, your majesty, issue and sign this law so it cannot be changed, an official law of the Medians and Persians that cannot be revoked. So King Dairos signed the law. But when Daniel learned that the law had been signed, he went home and knelt down as usual in his upstairs room with its windows open toward Jerusalem. He prayed three times a day, just as he had always done, giving thanks to his God. Then the officials went together to Daniel's house and found him praying and asking for God's help. So they went straight to the king and reminded him about his law. Did you not sign a law that for the next 30 days, any person who prayed to anyone, divine or human, except to you, your majesty, will be thrown into the den of lions? Yes, the king replied. That decision stand. It is an official law of the Medians and passion, and that cannot be revoked. This is the word of God. Thanks be to God. Let us pray. Lord, we are grateful to you for giving us a new day. We thank you for this time Lord, as we listen to you, we ask that you speak to us in the language that we will understand. In Jesus' name, we pray. Again, the topic is an evil plot against the righteous. We understand in chapter 5 of Daniel, verse 30 and 31, that King Belshazzar was assassinated and Dairos the Median took over the kingdom at the age of 63. Now as a new governor, 
he needed to put his administration in order. Therefore, he appointed three persons to be in charge to oversee the, uh, the entire province for him. And among them was Daniel, because it was impossible for King Dairos to keep watch over the entire province. So he chose Daniel and two others as administrators. Their work was to one, supervise, two, auditing the account, and three, checking on every assignment given by the king. Now in verse three, we learn that Daniel soon proved himself more capable than all the other administrators and high officers. Because of Daniel's great ability, the king made plans to place him over the entire empire. Daniel, as we already know, was a child of God, a faithful servant of God. He was trustworthy. He lived according to the will of God. And in his job, he was able to prove himself a trustworthy person. And that was why the position of the highest was to be given to him. But the other two had to conspire against him because they were not happy for Daniel to become a head over them. Why did they want to bring Daniel down? Number one, they were envious of the new promotion because they thought they were the most qualified to be in that position. Number two, they will not be able to use their office for personal profit because being the head over some provinces, you will have some kickbacks, bribes, and money that will come into your pocket. But if Daniel is there, watching over them as the head, they won't have that opportunity to steal money. Number three, Daniel was not from their tribe. He was a foreigner. And so their, uh, their aim was, why should a foreigner come and be our head? That was the reason. Do you know that some people are envious of the position you are today? I don't know the position you are, but I'm very sure God has given you a position, either as a head, either as a civil servant, either as a teacher, either as a minister of God. And some of your colleagues are not happy about it. And they can do anything to bring you down. It is my prayer that God, whom we serve, will continue to protect us in the name of Jesus Christ. I want us to note this, that a honest employee get promotion while his enemies are judged for wrongdoing. Wherever you are working, wherever you are serving, your boss, your employer is watching you. He's looking at you. He's counting on what and what you are doing in your place of work. Are you proving yourself to be a trustworthy person? If you are trustworthy, you will be promoted. But if you are wanting, I tell you, you can either be dismissed from the work, lose the job, or you will remain in that position for a very long time. In verse 10, verse 10, but Daniel learned that the law had been signed. He went home and knelt as usual in his upstairs room, with his windows open towards Jerusalem. He prayed three times a day, just as he had always done, giving thanks to God. Can you see Daniel? When he learned that a law, a decree, has been issued, and that decree was purposely to see how they can get him, he never stopped. He went on doing what he has been doing. And he went on, opened the windows, opened the doors, and prayed unto his God. I want to ask this morning, brothers and sisters, 
Are you a prayerful person? As I have said, people are envious of your position. They are envious of what you are doing. And they are struggling and thinking of how to bring you down. Without prayer, I am telling you, you may not succeed. You may not succeed. But it is my prayer this morning that God will give you grace to overcome every plot of your enemies in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Now in Genesis chapter 37 verse 4, we learn of a man, Joseph. He was hated by his brothers because he told them his dreams. And it was like, oh, this small boy, you want to come and head us, and then we will come and bow before you? That cannot be possible. And they sought for a way to destroy him. But God was by the side of Joseph. And God was always granting him favor. Joseph was sold into slavery in the house of Potiphar. But in chapter 41, verse 40 and 41, we are told after all trials and temptation, the, uh, Joseph emerged victorious. He was also promoted. Joseph was one of those who hold on to God. He was faithful. He was faithful to his God. Brothers and sisters, this morning, I want to encourage you that you should be faithful unto this God. Hold on to this God. Don't allow anything to distract you from your God. The God whom you are serving will continue to be with you. We continue to watch over you in the name of Jesus Christ. Now, in Jeremiah chapter 29, verse 11, the Bible says something there. Jeremiah chapter 29 Verse 11, it says, For I know the plans I have for you, says the Lord. They are plans for good and not for disaster, to give you a future and a hope. I want to assure you this morning that God has a plan for you. God has a plan for me. And the plan is that he wants to lift us up. From our commentary, God has good plans concerning you. He wants to lift you in your studies, work, business, or ministry. In all the world, whatever you are doing, God has a plan and he wants to make you succeed. You need to be like Daniel. Daniel was a man of God. He was, he, he was a man who feared God. He loves God. He was a man of prayer. You must be somebody who fears God. In other words, you should not indulge in corruption. You should not indulge in doing anything that is unfaithful. God cannot reward such a people. People may dislike you, but trust God for protection. Be consistent in worshiping only the living God. And no weapon, no lion's den, no charm, no wicked, wicked plot or demonic attack will overcome you. Stand firm like Daniel and God will see you through. My encouragement to you this morning is that as a child of God, you should be firm. Whatever you are doing, do it faithfully and don't allow any distraction of the enemy to bring you down. It is my prayer that as we look up unto this God, the God whom we are serving, he will watch over us, he will promote us, he will bless us and give us all that we need in the name of Jesus Christ. I conclude by reading from Acts chapter 5 verse 29. But Peter and the apostles replied, we must obey God rather than any human authority. That should be your resolve, to worship God alone and him alone and not any human being. 
As you do that, the Lord will bless you in Jesus' name. Let us pray. Lord, we thank you this morning for your word that has gone forth. We ask, Lord, that your word will dwell richly in our hearts. In Jesus' name we pray. Thank you for listening and God bless you. We thank you for fellowshipping with us today. We invite you to join us tomorrow morning, same time, same station, for another special edition of the Daily Fountain. If you are led to sponsor or support this program, please contact the numbers and email all showing on your screen. Also, subscribe to our YouTube channel at youtube.com slash ACNNTV. Visit our website www.acnntv.com.